Right now, cropped is the most popular term used in contemporary fashion. Cropped hoodies and cropped t-shirts are two of the hottest pieces across all tiers of fashion, and rightfully so. It is pretty much a style cheat code right now. It plays in favor to your proportions so you just look better visually. It's such a small change for such a big difference. But what does cropped really mean? in fashion. What are we actually talking about? You might think cropped means shorter, right? I feel like this is pretty obvious. Like for tops, the fabric would sit higher on the body and for pants, it would sit higher on the leg. So generally speaking, cropped probably just means slightly shorter. On paper, this makes perfect sense, right? <laughs> No. Don't let them tell you that cropped has one objective meaning. Stop, stop listening to the propaganda. Cropped as a term is actually relative. It requires multiple points of data to determine itself, depending on the situation, person, or perspective. It can have completely different meanings and experiences. For example, the average male person in the US is five foot nine inches. In this scenario, our subject is five foot nine inches and just, let's just give our little human lab rat a name. Let's just call him John. So John has a cropped hoodie. It looks good on him. It fits good on him. We can confirm for the subject John that the superficial definition of cropped holds true. Don't you agree? I feel like this fits. Okay, now, remember how I said the concept of cropped is relative. Well, we're gonna introduce some variability to this reality. And to do that, I'm gonna bring in another subject to this experiment. And just to separate the two, and for clarity and convenience, we'll give this guy a name too. And let's just say his name is Shaquille. So John is standing at the US average male height of five foot nine inches, but Shaquille is standing at a humble five foot four inches, an objective five inch height difference. So if we take this cropped hoodie right here, that holds true to its superficial definition on five foot nine John, and now move this exact hoodie onto five foot four Shaquille, our understanding of the label cropped is completely altered. Whole world is shattered right now. So look at this hoodie. When this timer starts, you have two seconds to answer my question. Does this look like a cropped hoodie to you? Here's a constant back and forth just to show you that reality is playing games. And you're gonna sit there and tell me that you know the definition of cropped. You don't know anything. You're a fool. You think you had it. I don't even know who John is. Okay, so now that you have an understanding of how cropped is relative, I'm gonna show you how to use it to your advantage. For those of you that pulled up actually wanting to learn something and take away something of value from this, don't worry, I actually wrote a lot of that into this video. So first, I'm gonna talk about why cropped as a concept even works in fashion. Like, why is this even effective? Like, wh why do we like this? And next, I'm gonna break down what you can do to incorporate this technique today. Like, what can you do right now? And then lastly, I'm gonna break down how you can personalize this tip and tailor it specifically for your wardrobe and style. Because obviously, some of you guys are John, some of you guys are Shaquille, some of you guys aren't even on here. Don't worry, I have everybody in here covered. But before we get into that, I wanna personally thank a sponsor that has genuinely changed my life, and that is ShipStation. ShipStation is a service that makes running an online business totally possible for anyone. Personally, for me, when starting my brand, my biggest headache was logistics. And I'm not gonna lie, it's just kind of daunting looking at it, thinking there's no way around this. Does everyone have to do this? But I naturally found ShipStation over a year before they even got in contact with us. As you can see, scrolling through some of my old orders, these go back to 2022. And it just keeps going. You know, there's a lot of them. So you know, this is some real stuff here. I was a fan before the link up. Man, you can imagine how much headache this saved me though. So basically you can link ShipStation to your web store, whether it be eBay, Shopify, Squarespace, or all of the above. Honestly, you can link multiple to your ShipStation. And for each order, it will automatically calculate a shipping rate, print a shipping label, and keep track of the shipment process per order. I probably would be bald if 
I had to keep track of where 1,000 NPC hoodies were flying around the globe. And as you know, an online shopping headache for both the buyer and the seller is shipping. And with ShipStation, you can save up to 89% off of UPS and USPS because of their partnerships with those guys. It's a win-win for everybody here. Let's just get stuff moving. Let your customers shop risk-free this holiday season with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash frugal today and sign up for a free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash frugal. 60 days for free. That's a lot of days. Look at this. You keep count of these things. ShipStation.com slash frugal. Thank you to ShipStation for just helping out your boy, man. All right, so why cropped hoodies? Why crop tees? Why crop trousers even? Why does this just so happen to look good on everyone? Well, on the surface, it seems like a pretty clear answer proportions. This goes beyond clothing and lands on visual satisfaction. So everybody knows about the root thirds, right? If you don't, it's basically a guideline where you separate on the image or your visual plane, you separate the most interesting visual points into different thirds. Like in photography, you want to place your subject in the left or right third of an image just to create some separation, you know? Like how I separated the informational breakdown of this video into thirds. I feel like it's just nice, keeps these organized. It's just easier to digest that way. And the same goes for clothes. You just want to give things more room to breathe so your eyes can appreciate them in their own space. And for crop pieces like tees and hoodies, the shortened hem of the crop creates more space between your top and your pants, breaks your body down into proportionate sections, and thus leading to a better composed fit without really changing much, if we're being honest. The golden rule is if it fits good, you're gonna wear it. Visual satisfaction takes priority over style cues any day. But okay, so, but like, I get it, the rule of thirds, but like, why though? Like, why is this satisfying? Like, why? Why does our brain like this? Why does our brain like any of this? Well, when digesting visual information, your brain is essentially doing really quick math all the time to find this symmetry. And here are some examples of symmetry in the obvious sense, but it's also for things that you can't really even comprehend from a conscious perspective, like color. Light and color are on a spectrum, and your brain is looking for symmetry and harmony within this. You don't know what you're doing, but your brain does. Like, for example, color theory. Like, what even is contrast? It's all information that you don't even realize is being analyzed right now. You're doing it right now. And the same goes for music. Sound frequencies, those are being processed by your brain the exact same way. It's all quick computing to find symmetry. Remember this word? Nature loves symmetry. The universe loves symmetry. And naturally, so do we. We love symmetry. That's the whole shit, man. That's what everything is about. Like, why do you think things always end up in perfect formations, circles, balance? Think of, think of like planets, cells, atoms. Look at this, look at this. This is the order of the universe and your brain, and your brain is wired the same way. Symmetry makes you feel safe and satisfied. And as a brain's reward function, it releases endorphins, thus leading to a sense of aesthetic pleasure. It's all like hundreds of thousands of years of biological engineering so that you can serve your purpose in creating harmony in the universe. But also, I don't know. It is what it is. All right, let's get into it. Next, we got the point that you guys have all been waiting for. The piece of information that's gonna take you to the promised land. I'm about to give you your 60 second ab workout, but for fashion. What can I do right now for quick and instant fashion results? What can I do to make her like me? The golden ticket to the chocolate factory of cropped clothing is, and Willy Wonka opens his doors. Just look for shorter tops, brother. That's, you couldn't figure that out? What the fuck have I been talking about for the past 10 minutes? Don't answer that. Okay, it's actually really easy. All you gotta do is look for shorter stuff, whatever. I just needed to bring you back down to earth. But now I'm gonna break into how do you look for these things? What is shorter? What is crop? Well. So you see, cropped is relative. Okay, but how do you tailor this tip to fit your body specifically? 
and your wardrobe. Before I start yapping again, I'm just gonna give you guys an actual tip. A quick, a quick thing that you can actually do. Something you can actually do like right after this video. Okay, so just take a shirt you like. It doesn't have to be a crop shirt. It just has, just a shirt that you like wearing, a shirt that you enjoy wearing. Maybe something you like to fit on. Okay, now go pair it with your most worn or favorite pair of pants, the pants that you wear mo most of the time, just your go-to, your, the ones you haven't washed in a while. The pants that smell the worst. Okay, now put those on, right? Now just go in the mirror and look at yourself. Just take a look at yourself and reflect. Just look at yourself. And now slowly, just start folding the hem of your shirt up little by little. Just start... You know, just start rolling it up and folding it up little by little exactly how I'm doing. Just try it, okay? And maybe get to a point where the shirt's around at your waist. Just, just feel it out. Just feel it out. It's gonna be different for everybody. Just feel it out. And I know the people that are doing this for the first time are not gonna really know what to look for, so here is a tip. Just take a fit pic. Just take a photo of the shirt folded up in the mirror. Maybe put in different heights just so you have more photos. And now unfold the shirt and then just take a photo of yourself with the shirt naturally. How the shirt fits without the folds. And now you have these photos you can just swipe back and forth on your phone and compare the crop versus uncropped see how you like it I'm sure you will see a clear difference but I guarantee most of you guys will realize that you have been wearing shirts longer than they're supposed to be you didn't know that shirts could fit like that you didn't know you could look like this because you just been buying stuff you don't realize these things until you have another perspective and this tip gives you another perspective it's just nice to have it's nice to compare it's nice to know, unless you're deliberately going for an oversized look, you can appreciate the width of these things without it having to swallow you up on the length side. These right here that I'm wearing have the exact same dimensions except for the length. That's the only difference. This one right here on the right is cropped four inches. That's it. And you can't tell me you don't see a huge difference in the visual presentation of my outfit. Just kind of go in the mirror and fold your shirt up to where you kind of like it. Keep the folds there. Take it off. Make sure you keep the folds there though. Then measure how long that shirt is. And then bam, you know what you're supposed to be buying if you want to get a crop shirt. Once you have that, just look for stuff with the same length on Essence or Grailed. Most of these places now have measurements. It's just a standard. Bring a measuring tape to the mall, man. Just do what you got to do. All I'm saying is just try it out. Just get a different perspective. I guarantee most of you guys would at least like it. Hey, I'm not calling you short. I'm just saying, you know what? What if I just crop this video?